It doesn't, yeah, it, it's going to have to find out. Yeah, yeah, and they did. What happened was they, what she, so I got her stockings off. She wanted to go to the bathroom, so I was trying to help her, but she couldn't lift herself up. And I said, look, we can't do this, you know? Um, so I called her doctor, put her on mm -hmm. speakerphone, talked to the nurse, and the nurse said, go to Queen. She has any fractures. She needs to stabilize. Yeah. The paramedic guy was checking her ankle and her knee and all that, and she said, it doesn't seem to be broken. But you know those hairline, okay. those hairline things. That's the button. That's the click on the head. The back formation. I used to rely on for sound sync. This is a souvenir prop that I relied on sound sync now. How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. My intro. And then when I say the channel, just yet, wait, I go press the OBS Studio button to the next scene, right there, the channel. So actually, <clears throat> then I use the egg timer because it makes noise and it makes a tick tick sound like this is CNN. And I cut the sound from the music down. So during that thing, high level. So I'm doing a lot of audio. Which brings me to this audio. Last time, something was up, man. Something was up. I think it's connections. Always be gentle to the wires. I'm just telling you some behind the scenes stuff. Maybe if I watch this, it's kind of behind the scenes stuff. See, because last time the audio level was so down, and I was like trying to, and it happened again. Audio level was so down, and when you try to print, it's just all mess up. And it was so much trouble to get the audio down. And now I'm thinking, well, I should pare down some of this stuff, you know. Don't try too hard. Don't rush too. I was on to rushing because I have to keep doing stuff. Not really on a rush timeline today, but short videos are better because people always. Thank you for your time. But you know, I'm not really going to be kissing ass to my viewers. Not that I don't like the viewers. I'm losing subscribers like like rats sinking, fleeing a sinking ship. And I'm really kind of far from monetization. And even if I was monetized, thanks YouTube, if I was monetized, I'd be making something like two cents a month. So literally, there's community guidelines, so I can't really <laughs> do things too rude. And so it's kind of rude. It's like swearing. You know, people swear. You can swear, 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 swear. And it's really for the effect. It's kind of vanity. It's like just make an effect. But then people who swear, I, my friend's girlfriend used to say the F word every other word. F and 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 F. You know. The girl was from Waipahu, so... It's a cultural thing. <laughs> it's kind of like... <laughs> a little... I mean, it's not offensive, it's just... It was so overboard, it was unusual. It's like, well now... <clears throat> can't take you anywhere. My mom is still in the hospital. It's really just a... They're watching her because of she can't stand on her leg. And that's a whole rehab thing about her leg. Now, you might... Not everybody out there in my care, but a few of you do, so I say so. And I'm trying to be truth, but I would be like, you know, telling somebody else's story, but it affects everything. But it's a good thing that she's generally pretty darn healthy for everything else, but she just can't stand in that dang ankle. And so she can't support with that leg, so she's the rehab thing, and it might be a while too, so things are changing. So, I'm thinking, well, I'll prep, maybe pare down. It's like a big bush that's overgrown. Go down there and like a little trim, trim edge thing. 
I don't mean Brazilian, but <laughs> maybe I do. But it's kind of like, a, here's my little exposure, and then I turn on this fan, which is so silent because it's electric that I'm able to do that with my recording. So this is the other fan, and if I turn this one on, there's a horrible sound in the background. This fan, when I turn it on, when I turn on this fan, I actually use a low frequency sound effect because everyone's like, oh, low frequency sound, and I just do it for effect. So when that clicks on in post production, where everyone is safe from live ammunition, Alec. Baldwin. Oh, I said a name. Guy's responsible. That's Nikki. Anyways, and then I do the news because it's consistent and it's really about what's going on in Hawaii. Even though the big news thingy, but I don't know if I want to even do the news. Just talk about me. Just do stuff. Because this is probably going to be posted late. I'm already going too long than I should. Oh. And I have other ideas for videos trying to, it's like trying to be the most popular kid and then you try too hard. You just like, I, I want to be popular, I want friends, I want to be popular in school, like me. That's what YouTube has turned me into and I was not that in high school. Actually, yeah, this is like one big autobiography for me. In high school, Punahou School, private school, it's a really good school. Actually, it's very different from private, uh, public schools, but it has like, uh, you know, you're rewarded if you have good behavior <laughs> and it promotes creativity and higher thinking. And the social aspect was there's different cliques like in the high school and I'm just naive, clueless. So I had those groups of friends and those groups of friends and that little circle of friends and that little circle of friends. I just bounced around between cliques. <laughs> so I just, <laughs> I really was a social idiot. Thank you. Now that I admitted that, I feel so much um, not any different. This ghost app is for free because always do the free stuff because that's Hawaii culture. <laughs> Cheap and free. <laughs> Thrift store time. And this one is because I had ideas of mm, doing some paranormal thing because I'm kind of interested, but it's really big and everyone's into it. Regret. Regret. Confusion. I can hold it Pass. to the microphone. Alex. Swim. And Ground. Yeah, okay, Chase. okay. And I can Share. take a still Present. picture and it makes that day. Okay. Support. Did it say Guam? It's a brown Guam. And as long as you shake it, it'll say words or whatever. I think it's a bunch of hooey, as in phony baloney, those types of things, I think. And time's up. That's it. Done. And then I'm supposed to go like this. Well, and this is what I do. Show the newspaper like this, with the sound effects, and I throw it over there with more sound effects. And then I go over here and go, hey. And, and I forgot to put that thing up. Son of a beep. And it's good not to swear. Because Examine. in my examination of humor, it's actually funnier when you bleep the thing than when you say the swear word. So why swear? It's it's Friday, and this is like crazy. There's new surfing rules because they're gonna manage a North Shore contest, yes. and this chick's like going, "Hiya, hiya!" Women, women rule. Um, this guy's buying a bunch of land because he's part of the DNL H, and there's like a thousand people, and they went to Homestead Land back. Comfort. And I don't know stuff in the news. And well, then usually I don't have time. Real. I understand Mountain. why people. I'm gonna put you on pause. I'm gonna put that nasty. It says nasty. Uh, I understand why people uh, criticize the news because there's just not enough time. If you try to make time, so here's here's the sports. I'm not really that much of a fan of basketball. Sorry. Uh, stuff. <laughs> the airports are busy. They did have bed bugs there, but they're fumigating. So and. Uh, city proposes change for surfing rules. Uh, yeah, who wants to watch all this? It's just fucking news. Oop, did I say the F word? I'm just gonna leave that in. See if they demonetize someone who was never monetized. Then I go, oh, this was so stressful. Son of a bitch. 
so stressful. You know what? Because I like doing it back in the day because it shows Hawaii. Like 89, look at this picture. 1989, Liza Minnelli, Jimmy, uh, Sammy Davis Jr. Remember Sammy Davis Jr.? Hey. And shared us uh, and Frank Sinatra share the state at the Neil Blaisdell Center in Honolulu. These guys, plus Liza, were rat packed. Look at, look at, in 89. The, they're at the uh, Neil Blaisdell Center, NBC Arena, which might be when they rechange the name. Okay, so I go, oh, back in the day when we relaxed, so I have a little stick, and then <laughs> I go to section B, and then back a couple pages, and it's letters to the editor, which were very fun to read in a different type of, like, you know, imitation. And this online newspaper takes a long time to, what the hell? It, you know, because everyone wants to look at the online newspaper, now it's a lot of traffic, so it's jam up. And so while we're waiting for that i'll transfer back to this scene and i color code this thing too because i use a black light if you want to see i use a black light for effect and it's hard to have skin tones but i want this unusual color and it does light up interesting things okay oh i thought oh look we're back here and i can switch back and forth obs isn't that great with switching back and forth when you reboot this thing it reboots to like page one so it's like oh, god get back airport uh, stupid news and if you click on these things it makes but if you click on them twice it has a different font and when you hover over something it turns yellow these are the woes so you think this debt default was a bad wait you try to do one of these whatnots or whatever's or you know you try to do this you you do that <laughs> So I'm showing you how to do this so you can do it too and get no views. <laughs> I mean, somebody does this. It's it's all about youthful good looks to YouTube. I swear to God, youthful good looks. Now it's like so many pro professional productions. Single YouTubers like myself, we don't stand a chance. It's like a hobby, get a job. No, people do this for a living. And then when, you know, something happens, then they're up, you know, creep. Enough with votes to stop a hold for another two years. Default US debt. So the thing is, about well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, if they let it default it would crush the economy yes i had a lot of political economy so i know somewhat what i'm talking about somewhat i'm not a ultra credarian ultra credarian yeah i give myself ultra credit ultra credarian i learned a new word now you did too now you better remember that because there'll be a quiz at the end of life <laughs> they just up the debt up the debt up the debt up the debt it's the common practice that's what the government does so they're just gonna up the debt up it up it up it up it up. and but if they would spend and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions, and billions, and billions, and billions on the military and go, you know, we got to cut some spending. Let's cut Social Security, Medicare, and this little social benefits for what the hell are these people? So people in Washington, D.C. should be fired. Almost all of them. There are too many career politicians. There's a term limit of like one year. Get the hell out of there. Sorry. Sometimes I'm a little, little excited. <laughs> so I got to press this twice. Step ceiling shows value of compromise. I'd usually pick that one. But if I was in a rush, I'd pick a small one. So we'll just... <laughs> Look at this one. That ceiling. No, the one we're not going to look at. It's fun to scroll and then go, what if lantern floating was on another day? And then maybe um, see if I can do James Mason. I was wondering just how well attended. And I suck at James Mason, so I don't know. How about something else? I was wondering just how well attended the senior end lantern floating event would be if it was not held on a federal holiday honoring the war dead. Of the United States of America, I'm trying to think. Darth Vader? Or, there would be 45,000 people willing to take a day off from work or participate after work to be a part of this ceremony. I don't think so. So, little corny British accent is pretty good. Hijacking Memorial Day for Matra sales and car sales, and now this. I hope everyone who supports this event on a federal holiday sleeps well. Sergeant Major. Robert W. Holub, U.S. Marine Corps, retired. Thank you for your service and retiring. Eva Beach. Well, Elias, at least it was Sergeant Major that I did all that weird stuff, and then I transferred the things, and I'm back to here, and it's also too long. So I'll just, I won't add so much music and see what it sounds like without so much music score, because I have to go pick all the music, and this is going to come out late, so enjoy your day. <laughs> Aloha Friday.
It's not Aloha Friday. Aloha Friday is the last Friday of the month where you say Aloha because it's like, or you could make it the first Friday of the month because Aloha also means hello. Hello and goodbye and I love you. So Aloha to you. Okay, already. <laughs> and I wake up early to get the sunrise. I have to wake up really, ooh, 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 super early because the sunrise comes early because it's summer. <laughs> And it's also hurricane season. So I gotta go out there and watch for hurricanes right now. <laughs> There's your sunrise. This is today's sunrise. So what? It's nowadays. Don't appreciate nothing. It's nowadays. Don't appreciate nothing. It's nowadays. Substitute. Now appreciate nothing. Whatever. Substitute. Unsub me. Now. Always. Whatever. Unsub me. Now. Go away. Whatever. Aloha to you. Unsub me. Now. Go away. Aloha to you.